What's going on guys, Kyger here, and in yesterday's video we talked over the will cores. Now we're going to look over the generations and tell you what goes with what and how they stack up against each other. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so jumping right into it, above my head is the rankings I have for the generations. And we're going to talk about starting from the bottom, work our way up. First, we have Fast Breeze. So all of these uh, generations have two set bonuses and four set bonuses. They also can stack on top of each other. What I mean by that is you see my, the current equip break free is a four set. So if I look at her four set, just like I did with the skills, I can look here. And that's... Uh, break free level one and two three or four that means if all four of my fairies have the same set then I will have this bonus down here now let's talk about the actual different ones uh, I was on one here so two set tenacity fine sure uh, four set movement speed 10% after dodge for three seconds uh, this isn't worth even really talking about in my opinion. Then we get into super strength. I've seen some people hyping this up a bit, but I don't really see it. Let's take a look. Uh, two set break 40. That's fine. I don't mind some, um, office of stats after triggering the core skill. That means if this is on, let's say, uh, uh, rigidity then this would be triggering it after this effect happens and it goes on cooldown that would be triggering the core uh, do, do, uh, we we're talking about this one uh, triggering the core skill increase attack uh, by one percent of max HP for five seconds uh, fighting will and God bless do not trigger this and that's because those don't really go on cooldown. They're a stacking thing. Uh, and then this itself has a 25 second cooldown. Uh, I can't 1% of max HP is not even going to get me out of bed in the morning. Just not a conversation. Uh, then we have Sprout of Flower. This one I've had some people try to convince me on and I don't see it. Uh, flower fairy skill cooldown is increased by 30%, but the damage is increased by 45%. Now, the argument here is you'll be able to use your uh, fairy as an assassin uh, by using Sprout of Flower and um, Sprout of Flower and uh, Not Nightmare um, Slaughter. Because you'll have the bonus damage, especially if this is on, let's say, Anathria. But uh, because you do the, this is 35% uh, extra damage, Anathria is 80% extra damage, and then Slaughter is its own uh, extra damage on top, which I can see that being a use case. But uh, increasing the cooldown on, one, on your powerful Flower Fairy effect by 30% to get that amount isn't worth it when we talked about all three of those big things but if you still have anathria and slaughter it's still going to kill someone if they're under 60 and you have sufficient stats for it uh, she's still going to chunk and or kill the player so having to wait 30% longer to kill the next guy doesn't really add up even something like Crystal Battlefield or whatnot that only has a seven minute cooldown going. Then we get into the B tier and we get some interesting ones. So this is one that I had an issue with when it came to reading it because it's not very clear what it's trying to do, but I got uh, an idea of what's actually happening here. 40 block, awesome, I'm fine with that. When God Bless stacks to maximum, gain 5.7% healing bonus. Meanwhile, the lifesteal effect from other players, this is the part that um, got me confused, generated through you minus 10%. So this is a poor translation. Uh, this 
doesn't mean what it says it means. And that's because of some translation issues. So what happens is your healing uh, from effects. Let's say you are a gladiator and you, you know, minus 10% HP and then heal uh, based off damage dealt. That is a healing factor. Uh, then you have um, other things like uh, the heal from the scholar or uh, might uh, strength of nature from bow. Those get this healing bonus, but life steal specifically is minus 10%. So if you are a life steal build, which we'll talk about stats in tomorrow's video to decide if life steal is even worth it for you, uh, then that gets minus 10%, but healing from other means, which there aren't very many currently in the game, are increased by about 6%. Uh, then we talk about Vigor Wind. Now this one is uh, one of my sleepers. I think this could easily be A ranked um, if you're really on top of it. On top of it, playing a wind chaser specifically, and that's because dodge cooldown minus ten percent. Very very like very easy effect, but very uh, complicated effect, and that's because uh, this one it's set effect once you have four vigor uh, sets of vigor wind equipped you end up with dodge cooldown minus 40 percent and uh wind chaser gets three dodge initially and everyone naturally let me show you it uh one it's five and a half to six seconds is the full amount so if you're able to cut 40% off of that, you're able to cut three, roughly three seconds off of it, then you have three second dodges. And people have had some issues with uh, dodging actually uh, nullifying damage or actually dodging damage. It's the moment you click it. So the moment that animation happens right there is the, the time that I do not take damage. And you'll see it's about a half second to um, somewhere between a half second to a full second of immunity. During this, um, you get very close to, uh, let's round it up to a full 0.75 seconds. And now we're getting into the math where it's uh, 0.75 out of every 3.2 seconds, you are invulnerable and don't take damage. And that is a very, very powerful effect if you're able to capitalize on it and do it through your abilities effectively. If we take a look, uh, you can get stuck in animations. And it could be tough. So as long as you learn your animations, this can be a very, very powerful generation. Uh, in the future, after more testing down the line, it may find its way up to the A rank. Next, we have uh, kind of a weird, weird, weird defensive one. It has probably one of the most overpowered effects, but the amount of time it's active is super, super short. Uh, when we're generating HP through non life steal way, which would be um, Gladiator, uh, Priest Heal, or Wind Chaser Heal. Uh, additionally grant protection rate plus 300%, uh, defense plus 6.5%, uh, in the following 0 0.043 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. I, you can't even really tell, like it'll show up and it'll definitely lower damage, but in that time, uh, from someone clicking a spell to you taking damage from the spell is more than point zero four three seconds so it does what it does but you won't be able to time it in a way it'll just incidentally sometimes uh, stop you from taking uh, big hits because of protection rate uh, so now we get into another interesting one four percent of damage dealt by flower uh, flower fairies will be converted into hp this is also a non lifesteal way 
such as smart shift so you can have smart shift and uh, plunder on at the same time and plunder will trigger smart shift but you got to be careful on your timing of smart shift uh, plunder would also trigger uh, God bless heal it will increase it by six percent uh, you'll see plunder uh, is very interesting how it correlates with the other fairy skills going on as well as you don't lose anything like when we looked at the other uh, flower fairy uh, one it increased the damage but also increased the cooldown making it tougher to use this is just hey by the way you're already doing this damage let's give you some healing and this will be very very beneficial when we come to uh, crystal battlefield or uh, guild versus guild battlefields uh, it'll allow you to have that little bit of extra healing to keep you going uh, then we get one of my favorites the other three these top three are definitely must 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 haves and this one is only a because it's so tough to get a full four set of it going on and I'll actually go I think I have it all on him yeah so if we take a look I'll show you the actual full number uh, if we go over here bam when fighting will uh, stacks to the max additionally gain 21.6 percent cooldown reduction that means if you have a five second cooldown scale it goes to four seconds not that great but as we know there are some high high cooldown skills take this one for example 20 seconds uh, so reducing that by 20 percent is going to be a big big target for you as also with things like 15 seconds 8 seconds or as judge you know this is about four seconds but being able to make it quicker and quicker is really going to especially on a class like a judge that wants to be clicking its buttons over and over and over and over and over again uh, or something like armor that really wants to be doing the same thing you'll notice leaps and bounds jump in dps now it did not make s tier just because not because it's not good but because of the strength of the other two let's talk about them so wills so this one right here soul hunt increase the damage dealt to enemies that are decelerated so slowed immobilized knock up or knock down or stunned by about 30 percent and as you see this kind of jumps 5.3 11.8 19.7 28.9 it gets crazy uh, so 30% bonus damage when you CC someone at all and a bunch of the fairies themselves do CC this will work on licorice primrose hydro a, a lot of them uh, even balloon that does a pull in that would be considered then you have all the slows like um, a grenade or a frost worm and then you there's just tons of skills that will trigger this over and over and over again making it uh, really solidify its place the only place it does not work is in guild boss and that's because these are the three um, effect types that guild boss is unaffected by uh, things like uh, the bleed I call it the bleed effect from uh, marksman or viola a uh, viola also does slow so mm -hmm. uh, those go through but this does not get the bonus damage off of those types of skills uh, last but not least is I know I have uh, right here break free gotta break free after triggering the core skill so um, as we talked about that'll be slaughter blah 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 things like that uh, crit rate plus 15% and crit damage plus 
54% for five seconds with a 15 second cooldown. You're just always doing it. And this gets a lot more powerful because a lot of these uh, cores have about 30 second cooldowns around that range. Uh, 19 to 30 second cooldowns. And if you're able to line this up when you have, uh, because all the, the cores max out at 12, uh, you can do 6666 six, six, six and have uh, 12 of one and 12 of another. And if you're able to trigger each of those every 15 seconds in tandem, you will 30% uh, of the time always have this going, as well as all the effects of your other stuff going on. But 15% crit rate and almost 55% crit damage, imagine that on an armor or judge, they will just take out waves upon waves of whatever is in front of them. Uh, let me know which ones are your all's favorite. If you think I missed anything, I've done a lot of testing with all of these, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section down below and generation G E N E R A T I O N enter that word down below and what you liked or disliked about the video to be answered into the next giveaway. Till next time guys.